Yo, what's up, guys? Back at you with another one on today. This is Noble Sports Entertainment, your home for breaking sports news and sports talk. Make sure you smash that like button. When you smash the like button, hit the subscription button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, and push the word all that you may be able to see every upload and notification that comes from this channel. Also, guys, make sure you subscribe to the DSA. Their links will be below in the description box. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Uh, this is my reaction to Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia coming back in 2020 and uh, more so Matt Patricia than Bob Quinn. Um, I know that it's Bob Quinn's duty and job to get the best uh, players that he possibly can. And uh, it's not his fault that a lot of players got injured this season. Carry on Johnson went down early. Uh, so it'll be two seasons in a row that carry on has gone down early and has not played a full NFL season yet. But then you had the injury to Matthew Stafford. You had Matthew Stafford going down with uh, uh, broken uh, bones in his back. And they kind of indicated that uh, he was dealing with this last year. So from here on out, you're going to have to handle Matthew Stafford with uh, with tender care. But at the same time, um, the only thing that matters on Sundays is winning. Nothing else matters. Um, I know some of our fans are indifferent about how we feel about the Lions, and you are entitled to your opinion uh, on what you think about it. But at the same time, the fact is uh, we're still a losing franchise. The fact is we have still not got over the top, and we have still not been able to uh, ride the waves of winning. Um, we still have yet to learn what it takes to win in the NFL. One of the biggest things that I saw with the Lions this season is that they were competitive in a lot of games, but the Lions did not know how to close the games out. Um, you're going to make mistakes out on the field. It happens. Nobody is going to be perfect out on the field. I don't care if they're Pro Bowl caliber players. I don't care who it is. Nobody is going to play a picture perf perfect game every single Sunday. That is not going to happen. But to say the least, um, Matt, Patricia, um, a lot of people wanted Matt fired. Uh, some wanted Matt to come back because they figured like he needs one more year to get this thing done. Uh, my opinion on it is that um, if you look at the situation, the Arizona Cardinals had a head coach last season. Uh, the coach was uh, Steve Wilkes. Uh, he was uh, a defensive coordinator for the Carolina Panthers and had that nice defense in Carolina before he decided to head to Arizona. And after one season of being evaluated by the team, the team decides to move on from him after one season. So sometimes you don't get a lot of time to play around with the team. So far, the words that Bob Quinn said, uh, nine and seven is not good enough. Um, there's going to be t-shirts on this. There's going to be flyers going up on this. I think these are the these these words are legendary because when Jim uh, Caldwell was at the helm, you know, and after he got fired, those were the famous words of our GM, Bob Quinn, saying nine and seven is not good enough. So, so far, nine and 20 and one is good. Good enough. I don't think so, guys. Now, whether or not. um I think that uh, Patricia should be back. Um, I'm indifferent on it. Um, I, I thought that Patricia uh, should have had these guys better prepared. I thought that Patricia would be the guy to get them over the hump because you want to give every coach the benefit of the doubt. And you want to be able to judge every coach or tenure or regime that comes to the Lions. No coach or no player since I've been watching this team has been able to get the Detroit Lions over the hump. And I don't want this thing to backfire in the people's faces that wanted Patricia to come back. I hope that Patricia has a great season next year. And I'm not just talking about getting to um, just getting in the playoffs. I'm talking about winning a playoff game. It's cool to get to the playoffs. But at the same time, you want to win a football game. Can Matt, Patricia, get these guys over the hill and over the hump? I don't know. So far, I have to say no. He's not been able to do it. The team has gotten worse. 
They're not the team that we thought they were going to be. We thought that the defense was going to be a top 10 defense. We're the last defense in the NFL. Um, we thought that the def- the three, four hybrid defense was going to be the type of defense that they run. Um, and we thought that that was going to be successful, but the Lions have been successful playing under the four, three, since I've been watching these guys, the four, three has been a better scheme for the Lions. So whether or not Patricia changes up this defense next season, I do not know. Um, but at the same time, am I happy about how the season went? No, I'm frustrated as a fan to know that this team still sucks that this team is still not a legit contender that this team doesn't know how to win football games um i can't blame everything on patricia because yeah you did have injuries yeah you did have this going on but at the same time some of those games were coaching some of those games were the players uh not performing the defense not living up to his calling card The offense, sometimes sputtering. There's so many holes and loopholes in this franchise that they're going to have to fix in 2020 if they want to be a playoff contender. As uh, Martha Ford and her regime has said that they want this team to be a playoff contender. I don't want them to be just a playoff contender. I want them to go to the playoffs and win a game. And guys, I know you haven't heard me talk in a while about the Lions is because I've been very upset with the franchise. Um, I'm tired. You should be tired as a fan. We deserve better out on the field. We deserve a better product. The Lions have so many fans coming to Ford Field on Sundays, but now the fans are starting to dwindle out. People are starting not to care because they realize that this is the same old franchise that has not been able to get over the mountaintop so whether or not Quinn and Matt Patricia get this team over the hump in 2020 I don't uh does it really matter yes it does but will they do it I don't know is Patricia the right guy for the job right now I gotta say no um he hasn't been able to get these guys in a direction where they need to be. You have too many old players speaking out against how he coaches. Some people say that he likes to use the fear tactic of putting the fear in these guys out there on the field. You can't do that. I'm not saying that you need to be a player's coach either. I'm saying you need to coach these guys in a way that they respect you in a way that they were they, they were, they'll do anything for you. They want, they'll, they'll get in a foxhole and fight for you. And this team had no fight in it. This team don't have blue chip players. They have no leaders on the team. There's no leader that stands out among the rest. Statistically, guys were kind of doing their thing. Yeah, Danny and Amendola was a great fit. Um, Yes, uh, we got an opportunity to see a couple backup quarterbacks. Still could not win. And I'm just going to put it like this, guys. Even... When Matthew Stafford was on the team, we still wasn't really winning like that. And you guys know that, that the Lions, even because of the injuries of Matt Stafford, we still was not winning football games. It didn't matter if Stafford was at the helm. But hopefully Stafford will get better and his body will heal and he'll be able to get out there and perform next season. Um, Do I think a one player in the draft is going to be able to change the Detroit Lions? No. It's going to take a miracle on 34th Street to be able to get this franchise in the right direction. Is Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia ready for that task? I don't know. But this is one of the toughest and hardest seasons I've ever been through as a Lion. I'm frustrated just like you guys. I want to win just like you guys. I know that you guys want the Lions to win. I know that you want to see a better product out on the field. Besides just selling memorabilia and jerseys and hats and all that type of stuff. You want to see this franchise win. And we thought that Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia would be able to turn this thing around. And so far they have not. And we got to call a spade a spade. They have not changed this franchise yet, guys. 
So I'm going to see, I'm going to take a wait and see approach from the Lions. You have other content makers that will continue to make videos for you, uh, the type of videos that you want. Um, definitely, they're going to give you what you need on your daily dose of the Lions. But for me, myself, I'm, I'm near a wit's end, man, with the Lions. And as a fan, I have that right. I have the right to walk away from this thing, just like you got the right to walk away. Nobody wants to continue to keep losing every single season. This year, you can't really bring the refs on everything. This was a season where we came in with great expectations. Did we meet those expectations? No. As a fan, um, did we think that um, this team would be better? Yes. We thought that Bob Quinn drafted some solid guys, but everything has not panned out the way it should be panning out. So however Matt Patricia is coaching his team, he may need to make some adjustments in his coaching. He's going to have to get a defensive coordinator in here that's a little bit younger than Paul. That defense has to be changed, guys, and turned around. Well, I'm not buying what the Lions are selling. I'm not going to buy it. I want to see this team win. You deserve to see this team win. In 2020, all eyes will be on Bob Quinn and Matt Patricia to turn this franchise around. And I'm not just talking about being a playoff contender. I'm talking about getting to the playoffs and winning a football game in the playoffs. It has been since 1991. Since the Lions have won a playoff game, that is a shame. That is an indictment on the Detroit Lions. I'm frustrated as a fan and I'm tired. And from here on out, guys, it's going to be a wait and see approach. I want to see what the Detroit Lions are going to do. What players are they going to bring in here? that are going to be able to be blue chip players, guys that make plays out on the field, whether it be offense or defense. I want to see W's. I want to see wins. That's the only thing that counts on Sunday. It doesn't matter if you win by three points. It doesn't matter if you win a game by one point. Wins. If Matt Patricia happens to lose the last two games of the season, against Green Bay and Denver. His record will be 9-22-1. And, and that is a crying shame. We deserve better, Detroit. We deserve a coach. And we deserve a GM that's going to get here and get the job done. And I'm not going to blame everything on Quinn and Patricia because it, co it goes on the players as well going out there playing hard and doing their jobs and knowing what they need to do when they're out there, knowing your assignment, stay in your lane. I'm tired, guys, and I'm frustrated with this team. And that's why you have not seen any videos from me. I haven't come out with any videos talking about the Lions because they didn't deserve me to talk about them. Yeah, I'm from the city of Detroit, but that doesn't mean anything. You can walk away from Detroit just like you walk away from anything else. You have choices and decisions in life. And just like they got a choice to make to make sure that they get a winning product out on the field, I have a choice as a fan to abandon the team because they're not putting out the product that we deserve as a, as a fan base. So hear me out, guys. I'm taking a wait-and-see approach from the Lions. From here on out, just wait and see with me. I'm going to see what this team going to do. I'm out of here. Peace. I give you my heart.